Hello, I'm Samet Ilmaz Bayhan at Hashelik for 14 years, Metallurgy and Materials Engineering, Sakarya University. For about 14 years, I have also been working as a product creator in marketing. Hardening steels are special types of steel used for surface hardening processes. These steels are generally low carbon steels and in order to increase the hardness of their surfaces, they are subjected to processing in a carbon rich environment. Some characteristics of case hardening steels are surface hardness, durability, matching ability and surface quality. The surface hardness obtained as a result of the case hardening process is quite high. This high hardness increases wear and friction resistance. Thanks to their high hardness, they are resistant to mechanical impacts. It facilitates use during the case hardening process. Surface quality. As a result of the case hardening process, the surface gains hardness while the low carbon steels retain their natural properties. Case hardening is generally carried out in gaseous and solid environments. It hardens steel by diffusing carbon into the surface to a certain depth. This increases the steel's durability and extends its lifespan. Case hardening steels can also be processed with different methods after hardening. After this process, the amount of carbon in the core region is 0.1%. 0.2% while on the surface it reaches a level of 0.8%. This situation makes it more difficult to select the heat treatment temperature because the amount of carbon varies throughout the structure of the part. If the temperature is selected according to the core region, it causes grain growth on the surface. If it is selected according to the surface, the core does not harden enough. Therefore, the easiest method is to harden at the case hardening temperature. This method can only be applied after salt bath and gas carburizing, and it is more suitable for fine grained steels. In carburizing steels, increasing carbon content and adding alloying elements enhances core strength. The best result is when the core is hardened during carburizing, known as double hardening. It is rapidly cooled at the proper temperature and intermediate annealing is performed. Then by quenching at the right surface temperature, surface hardness is achieved. Carburizing steels are advantageous in applications where both surface hardness and core toughness are required together. These steels provide high surface hardness while maintaining a softer, tougher core. Areas of use. They are used in the automotive industry for transmission gears, crankshafts, and axles. Their use is suitable here because properties like high pressure resistance, friction conditions, and surface hardness are required. Machine and equipment parts benefit from wear resistance and low friction. For this reason, the hardness is high. With this hardness, shafts are also used under such conditions. They are used in helicopter gears in aviation and defense industries. They are used in weapon parts. Surface hardness is important. Good wear and impact strength. They are used in gears and chains of agricultural machinery. Since it is based on strength, it performs well under tough conditions. This high performance ensures durability. In hand and machine tools, it is used in cutting tools and drill bits. High hardness, sharpness, and increased wear resistance. These are also important for us, as they are used in mold and press parts due to their long lifespan under high pressure and friction conditions. The surface hardness obtained through the carburizing process increases wear and friction resistance. Having a softer and tougher core increases impact resistance and provides durability against shocks. Resistance to wear and impacts extends the lifespan of parts and reduces maintenance requirements. Thanks to high strength and hardness, it is possible to achieve the same performance with lighter parts. This has provided a significant advantage, especially in the automotive and aviation industries. Long lifespan and low maintenance requirements reduce the total cost of ownership. Here we produce 16 manganese chrome, 520 manganese chrome, 520 nickel chrome molybdenum, 617 nickel chrome molybdenum, and 618 chrome nickel. We produce molybdenum 7. We can produce 16 manganese, 20 manganese, and 20 nickel chrome molybdenums, as well as their sulfurized versions. Generally, in low carbon steels, the low carbon content allows the surface of the steel to be hardened in a carbon rich environment while maintaining the toughness of the core. Case hardening steels have good weldability. In conventional steels, annealing is required after welding. Machinability is generally achieved with materials that are normally annealed and have a coarse grain structure. Material that has been softened is not preferred because it results in poor surface quality. At Hashalik, we use EN 10.060 as the standard for dimensions and tolerances in production. For crack inspection standards, we use ISO 9443. For internal defect inspection, we continue to serve you with EN 10.308. 
You may choose us primarily for our competitive pricing, product quality, delivery network, on-time delivery, and our variety of cementation steel grades.